stories of a remarkable group of veterans from the war in Vietnam. Tom, really good to see you. Thank you. It's great to be here. I had a wonderful time at a reunion recently, and one of the most remarkable stories coming out of Vietnam, of course, involved those American pilots in prison in the north in brutal conditions, many for years, seven, eight years. And yet, so many emerged and picked up their lives, even resuming their military careers. They were bound by brotherhood and the exhilaration of flight. I joined some of them for a reunion in San Antonio. General Chuck Boyd, U.S. Air Force, retired, has never lost his love of flight, not even after almost seven years in a North Vietnamese prison. And there's a special bond that exists between men who not only survived but in many ways prevailed under difficult circumstances. Boyd was shot down on April 22nd, 1966 and experienced some of the worst the North Vietnamese prison system had to offer, including the infamous Hanoi Hilton. So did Julius J. Rowe and Tom Curtis. Is there a time in a week or a month when you don't remember where you were when you were in prison? Tom. Ever present fact. Facing isolation and torture, the POWs were desperate to communicate with one another. But how? The sixth pilot that was down that was taken prisoner was a guy named Smitty Harris. And he remembered learning about a tap code taught in survival school. The tap code that Harris taught them was based on a simple five by five matrix with the letter C standing in for K. If you tapped once and then paused and tapped again, it was an A. If you tapped once and two together, it was a B. Suddenly, the prisoners were no longer alone. Every tap, every word meant hope. We did it religiously because I shortly learned that communication was the key to my survival. Absolutely. Without that, I wouldn't be here today. By chance, another captured pilot was a Spanish language whiz. Ken Fisher became a tap code professor. They'd use me like a dictionary. He would send words, and then the guy in between the cell would come over and tap him on our wall, and we would collect them in our minds. All by tap? All by tap. How good was your Spanish when you tried it back here? I found out that absolutely everything that this man had taught me was correct. Mm -hmm. Absolutely everything. It wasn't just a language, it was a lifeline. Astonishingly, all three emerged from captivity speaking Spanish fluently. That's something that you all must have learned, was about how the brain works and how endlessly uh, powerful it is. The brain is not like a computer disk. It doesn't get full. The more you put into it, the more it expands and becomes greater. Perspective on what matters earned the hard way. Any day that the door handle is on your side, it's a good day. To honor those who did not return and to celebrate those who did, Boyd leads a ceremonial missing man flyover soaring high, forever free. Quite remarkable. I couldn't learn Spanish, but there's an instructor standing right in front of me <laughs> trying to help me out through it. But they didn't have anything really else to do. And what they all said was that the brain has so much greater capacity than we realize. And as you keep testing it, it keeps expanding its ability to deal with you. They also talked about the things that they remember they didn't know had been buried in their brain, and that was activated in part by this exercise. You know, it's so interesting because here they went through this incredible ordeal, tortured, all the rest of it, but that human connection yes. is so important to them. I mean, several of them told you if it weren't for each other, they wouldn't have made it. No, and we're going to do a story tonight on NBC Nightly News that deals with just that. Two guys who got their final 100th flight and then the other people who've been in prison. And the fact that they all emerged as whole as they are is mm -hmm. really astonishing. Mm -hmm. Tom Brokaw, thank you for that. Thanks. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.